Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. This is episode 6 of my hand tied jig series, and today I'll be showing you how to tie a crappie jig that I call Disco Monkey. So let's go ahead and get started. The jig head I'll be using today is a 1 16th ounce number 4 sickle hook jig head. I've gone ahead and painted it with some Disco Silver Pro Tech powder paint and put some blue eyes on the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay a thin layer of super glue from the head of the jig all the way down even with the point of the hook. Next I'm going to take my thread and wrap it from the head all the way down even with the point of the hook. The thread I'm going to be using today is some Danville's 210 denier flat wax nylon. For this part you just want to make sure you have a nice even layer of thread. That should be good. Next we're just going to take our scissors and snip off the tag end. The next thing that I like to do is take a small piece of paper towel and dab up any extra super glue. That way if I have to move the feather around any it won't get stuck. The tail for this jig is just going to be a gray marabou feather. I want it to be about the length of the hook, maybe a little bit shorter. Once I get it lined up I'm just going to wrap some thread right here to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And once it's sized up correctly I'm just going to wrap my thread all the way up to the head of the hook and cut off the excess. Next up, I'm just going to wrap some more thread back down the hook to where I wrapped to before, just to make sure that the feather's tied in good. Next up for the flash, I'm going to be using some of this light blue and green crystal flash. I really like this stuff and I think this really ties this jig together. So the way I sized this up is I took one full strand of the flash, I cut it in half, and then I cut that half in half again. So that'll give me two pieces of flash on each side of this jig. Once I get that done, I'm just going to tie it down the jig all the way to the bottom, making sure that there's two pieces of flash on each side of the jig. Then I'm just going to wrap the thread all the way back up to the head again. There we go. Once I made sure it's nice and even, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it just a little bit further than the end of the marabou feather. Now for my favorite part. The chenille I'm going to be using is a medium blue milk chenille. I'm going to start out by wrapping it at the head all the way down to the same point that I've wrapped everything else. As you can see, I turned the jig sideways where I can see where I'm actually wrapping it to. Once I got it right there, I'm going to set my thread off to the side and slowly begin wrapping it up the jig. You'll notice you want to layer it as it rolls up and that way it stays even. And once you get it up to the front, you're just going to take your thread and start wrapping the chenille into the jig. So I'm going to take my thread and go up underneath the chenille, making sure to wrap it tightly, then over under again, over again, I'm going to do another wrap under, and a few more wraps over the chenille. I'm going to set my thread off to the side, make sure I've wrapped it properly, I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the chenille, and pull out any little fuzzy bits that want to stay behind. So now to finish up this jig, we're just going to do a double whip finish. So I'm going to take my whip finishing tool and do probably four, five, or six wraps in this first wrap, pull it tight, I'm going to do another four or five wraps and pull it tight as well. This will just make sure that the uh, knot does not come undone at all. Now we're just gonna cut off our thread and this jig is done. A Disco Monkey Crappie Jig. Now all that's left to do is to bag this jig up, toss a sticker on the bag, and these things are ready to get out on the water and catch some fish. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in checking out some of these jigs for yourself, head over to our Facebook page by clicking the link in the description and make yourself an order. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode of Hand Tied Jigs.